sorghum that's been simmered for an hour. Looks like caviar. Crunchy, a little bit toothsome, nutty. Yeah, it's good. That's a good replacement for barley. Great. And sorghum that's been in the rice cooker. Let's see which one of these works best. I think this burned. Yeah, this burned. But that is probably the fault of the rice cooker because this rice cooker gives me lots of problems. Mm, let's try it. Is it bad bone? It's not as soft as that. I think cooking it in there is the way to go. Well, good. That's nice to know. That's a new a new grain for us. I'm going to drain that. <coughs> cool. This is the acorn grits that I've taken out from the bottle that it was soaking in and I've squeezed it through a cloth to get the water out as much as I could. Now I'm going to put this by the fire to dry out more and I'm going to use it for for something, I don't know yet, but looks pretty good. Let's uh, do a taste test. Mm. It's not bitter at all, so that's worked. Mm. Maybe very, very slightly. Doesn't taste like much to be honest. It's a little bit nutty, maybe. A bit sweet. Let's try it out and see what it's like then. This is my high tech drying solution for my acorn meal. Let's see how this works. So, that processing of the cornmeal gave me almost exactly 250 grams of, not cornmeal, acorn meal of this coarse acorn meal. Now I've got to do something with it. Been eating the last of the guayabas. Very good? Yeah. <laughs>